Hi students today the topic is excess gives energy first we consider the equation of excess properties that is ge by rt is equal to sigma i xi ln gamma i so for a binary system ge by rt is equal to x1 ln gamma 1 plus x2 ln gamma 2 So here the values of g by R T are divided by x one x two to provide values of g by x one x two R T. So g here is the excess Gibbs energy, x one x two are the compositions, or is the gas constant T is the temperature. So the four thermodynamic functions L n gamma one, L n gamma two, g by R T and g by x one x two R T are properties of the liquid phase so gamma is the activity coefficient so here we evaluate the quantity g by x1 x2 rt it becomes indeterminate when x1 is equal to 0 and x2 equal to 1 because g is 0 in both the limits so similarly the product x1 x2 also So for x one tends to zero by L Hospital's rule. So this is uh, one of the rule which I have studied in mathematics. So by L Hospital's rule, limit x one tends to zero, G by x one x two R T becomes limit x one tends to zero, G by R T by x one. So this can be written as limit x one tends to zero, D of G by R T by D x one. so the derivative is found by the differentiation of the above equation that is the first equation g by rt is equal to x1 ln gamma 1 plus x2 ln gamma 2 that equation we have to make the derivative i mean the derivative can be found by differentiation of that equation so d of g by rt by dx1 is equal to x1 d ln gamma by d ln gamma 1 by dx1 Plus l n gamma one plus x two d l n gamma two by d x one minus l n gamma two. So here the minus sign preceding the last term comes from d x two by d x one is equal to minus one. There is a consequence of the equation x one plus x two equal to one. So x one plus x two equal to one. When you make the differentiation d x one plus d x two. becomes zero so dx2 by dx1 becomes equal to minus 1 so here consider gibbs duhem equation and write it for a binary system and then divide it by dx1 so here x1 dln gamma 1 by dx1 plus x2 dln gamma 2 by dx1 becomes equal to zero at constant temperature and pressure so here the activity coefficients for the liquid phases at low pressure are very nearly independent of pressure so negligible error is introduced by the use of the above equation so when these terms becomes equal to zero the activity coefficients are very independent of pressure so combining the above equations we get d of g by rt by dx1 becomes equal to so that term so this term x1 dln gamma 1 by dx1 plus x2 dln gamma 2 by dx1 is equal to 0 substituting this equation in the above equation we get d of g by rt by dx1 is equal to ln gamma 1 by gamma 2 so in the limit as x1 tends to 0 x2 tends to 1 then the above equation becomes limit x1 tends to 0 d of g by rt by dx1 is equal to limit x1 tends to 0 ln gamma 1 by gamma 2 so which is equal to ln gamma 1 power infinity so similarly we can write limit x1 tends to 0 g by x1 x2 rt is equal to ln gamma 1 power infinity
similarly as x1 tends to 1 that means x2 tends to 0 limit x2 tends to 0 g by x1 x2 or t is equal to ln gamma 2 power infinite so the limiting values of g by x1 x2 or t are equal to the infinite dilution limits of ln gamma 1 and ln gamma 2 so again consider the equation x1 dl n gamma 1 by dx1 plus x2 dl n gamma 2 by dx1 is equal to 0. So rearranging the equation dl n gamma 1 by dx1 is equal to minus x2 by x1 dl n gamma 2 by dx1. So here this shows the direct relation between the slopes of curves drawn through the data points for both ln gamma 1 and ln gamma 2. So when x2 tends to 0, the slope of ln gamma 1 curve is 0. Similarly, when x1 tends to 0, the slope of ln gamma 2 curve is 0. So when one composition tends to 0, ln gamma 1 curve is 0 and x1 tends to 0, ln gamma 2 curve is 0. So for each ln gamma i, i equal to 1 comma 2 curve becomes horizontal at x i equal to 1. So <clears throat> this is the today's topic. So if you like my video, please subscribe my channel. Don't forget to like, share and comment my videos. Please do click the bell button to get more videos. So thank you very much.